Hi guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, my video is my radon haul um, for this past week. So I wanted to share with you guys all the fun radon Christmas items I found this past week. Um, you've probably seen a lot of these in my hunting video, so you probably were there when I found them. But if you haven't watched those hunting videos, I've got two separate hunting videos for this past week. Be sure and check those out. Um, and now let's get into the haul. It's small but mighty. Um, so the first thing that I found this week, or the first thing I'm going to show you anyways, is this Let It Snow mug. Um, this mug is a little bit different shaped than the other Ray Dunn mugs. I almost like this shape better. Um, the handle just is a little more like, I don't know, comfortable in the hand. Obviously I love the other mugs, but this is just a fun shaped mug. So it says Let It Snow with the little snow globe. It is blue inside, um, and since this one is smaller, it was only $4.99, so I got this at Home Goods. So I really like that. I think that's super fun, and it's Christmassy, but yet not totally Christmassy since it says let it snow, so it is already snowing here in New York, so I feel like I could get away with using this now. So that was my first find of the week, and the next item that I got is another mug. I got this Silent Night mug. It is just wide inside. And I had told myself I really didn't need any more Christmas mugs unless I found red or green ones. Those are what I'm on the hunt for. But I just couldn't pass Silent Night up. I really like that. Um, and this I found at TJ Maxx. It was $5.99. Super cute. Um, and I actually picked up a second one. My mother-in-law, every time she comes over to our house, is commenting about my mug display above my head. She's always like, what, a, what brand are those? And asks me where I get them. So I thought it would be super fun to start her off. For Christmas with a Ray Dunn mug so figured this is a fun one so yeah one for me one for my mother-in-law okay and my next item that I found was this joy candle they had a ton of these candles at my store and I actually saw these I think at two different stores this week um I was hoping to find the smaller one this is the bigger candle um it retails for $12.99 um, and I got this at TJ Maxx, but I was hoping to find the smaller one because I just, this is like the same size as the mugs. I mean, as far as like height wise, it's a little more narrow, but I tend to like the smaller ones. Um, I had found another last in my last haul video. I did find a green or no, a red Merry Christmas one. That's the smaller size. Those are $7.99. But anyways, this was $12.99. Um, the scent is candy apple wreath. To me, this one smells better than my last candle. Some of their candles smell amazing, but so far the ones that I've liked the sayings on haven't been the best. Not my favorite, but this one's better. Much better than the other one. It's pretty good. So I did find several other sayings when I found this, and I literally stood in the store for several minutes, like trying to decide which phrase I wanted. Um, but I ended up getting the joy, and these actually match my Christmas plates. This is not from this current haul. Um, I bought these several weeks ago um, and you've probably seen it in my video, but these say cheer and I have a set of, I believe, eight of these. So was excited about that. And the joy candle also goes with my bowl that goes with that set. So the sayings that I saw, the words, I guess it's not a saying, it's one single word, but the words that I saw in the store this week of this type of candle was this joy. They had cheer, which is what my plates say. So it was this exact logo on it. And they also had Mary. So I could not decide. Like I literally was deciding, trying to decide, do I get the cheer because that's what my plates say? Do I get joy because that's what my bowl says? Or do I get Mary because none of my things say that? But ultimately I got the joy um, candle. It was a random pick, but, and I didn't need I thought about getting multiple, but at $12.99 for the candle, I was like, uh, I gotta like rein myself in and not get every single, you know, one that I find. So that I ended up with a joy candle, but this is my most exciting find of the week. Look at that. I found another birdhouse. I don't know if they have started producing more birdhouses or maybe in my area, all the hunters have found all the birdhouses that they want and they're tired of birdhouses. I don't know. But I was so excited when I saw this. I literally could not believe it. I was just filming like, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a birdhouse. So 
This is my favorite shape of the birdhouse right now. Um, I have the joy or a birdhouse that says joy that's just like this shape. Um, the letters are black. And then I also have the square, like the ones with the, just the flat square walls. <laughs> Can't think there, sorry. The like more square looking one that says blessed. And then I have ho, ho, ho. But I was super excited to find this. And on the back of it, it has a little pine cone with a bow. Um, but yeah, I could not believe it. I, until just a couple weeks ago, I have never seen a birdhouse in the wild. Like never have I seen a birdhouse in the wild until a couple weeks ago. And I really didn't think I'd ever get one. It was something that I had always been looking for, you know, like just always hoping to find a birdhouse. Never thought I'd find one, let alone four of them. So I was really excited to find this. So I don't know. I got to decide like at what point is like too many birdhouses, you know, enough birdhouses enough, or when do I have too many? So I have four of them. Um, so I don't know. I'm, the only one that's like specifically Christmas is ho, ho, ho. I mean, all the ones that I found are Christmas. They all have the little Christmas bows on them, but blessed home and joy, I feel like could be used all year round if you just change out the bow. So anyway, I was excited. Couldn't believe that. And speaking of excited, here is another exciting item I found. This Merry Christmas, I believe it's a utensil crock. Um, I think that's what people are calling it. Um, I've also seen people saying that they were gonna like use this as a little mini trash can. I don't know, it's super cute. It's really heavy though. Like when I went to pick it up in the store, I was super shocked that it was this heavy. I was like, what in the world? So this was $14.99 at Home Goods. But yeah, I couldn't pass this up. A solid red cr Merry Christmas. Um, utensil crock. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I don't know if I'll put some kind of Christmas decoration in it, if I will put my, you know, like cooking spoons and stuff. Sorry, I'm pointing that way because my kitchen's right back there. But um, if I'll put like my spatulas and stuff in here and put it on my counter, I'm not quite sure, but I'm excited to own it. It's fun. And yeah, I don't find very many solid red, like Merry Christmas items like this in the store. So I obviously had to purchase this. Oh, and I think I forgot to tell you. So that was home goods. I think I said, and I forgot to say where I got my birdhouse. Um, that was at TJ Maxx for $19.99. So, and then the last item in my haul this week, it's not something that I purchased, but I did my first trade locally. Um, I got the hot cocoa pot. This is another thing I didn't think I'd ever really find. Um, this one has the black letters. I know they have it in red, but I think I like this one better. So the handle's kind of funny. It's just like, it's interesting. Um, I don't know if I'll use this or if I'll just display it, but I think it's really pretty. But now that I have this, I want to find the marshmallow cellar. I want to find the hot cocoa mugs. Um, so now this almost has like, it was bad that I got this because now I want to make like a little hot cocoa bar area in my dining room. But yeah, so this is originally... $16.99 from TJ Maxx and I traded my peppermint canister for this. Um, I just had to realize I already have way too many canisters and I don't need a canister that just says peppermint on it. So this was a much more fun thing. Um, somebody had posted locally on the Facebook group that they had found four of these and had a little list of things and I was like, oh, I totally want that and I have the peppermint canister. So I traded this. That was fun. Like, yeah, I don't resell Ray Dunn. I hate that we have so many resellers in our area and that I can never find the good stuff. Well, I say I can never find the good stuff and I've been finding a lot of good stuff, but I think I've just gotten lucky at the times that I'm there because there are ladies in my area who will literally fill a cart full of stuff and then they just go and resell it. But so there's just certain pieces like this that I probably will never see in store. But Trading was super fun because I found something and traded and actually I got a better deal because this is $16.99 and the canister that I traded was $12.99, but it's what she was looking for. So it worked. But anyways, trading is super fun. Um, I also don't have a done buddy yet. That is, this handle is like really awkward. So I hopefully will eventually find a done buddy, but as of right now, I don't have one. I'm sure that helps a lot in finding hard to find things, but Anyways, I was super excited to trade for this and yeah. So anyways, sorry, how much can I ramble about a ceramic 
hot cocoa pot or my candles. I don't know. All right, I will shut up now and let you get on with your day. But thanks for watching my video. Um, as always, be sure and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more Ray Dunn haul items. Um, I feel like in my area, there's still a lot of new Christmas stuff coming out. So I will still be looking for Christmas items. Um, and then I've heard like, as soon as they stop doing Christmas, Valentine's Day starts coming out, which to me, that's a little soon. So hopefully they continue putting the Christmas stuff out for a while still. But um, yeah, leave me a thumbs up like I just said. Comment down below what you have found this week or what are you looking for? What did you enjoy most out of my haul? And be sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn on that notification bell so that you are updated as soon as I upload a new video. And thanks for watching guys and I hope you have a great day.